chapter 1. And so it begins. Genesis 1 to 2. In the beginning, there was God. Actually, that's not quite right. Even before there was a beginning, there was God. He never started. He always has been, always is, and always will be. God is God, and there is nothing else and no one else who compares with him. God doesn't get lonely or bored or scared. He doesn't need anything from anyone. He just is the great I am, whether people know it or not. But don't think that makes God a meanie. There is nothing mean about him. God is all love and all glory all the time. Which is why in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God made everything, day and night, land and water, fruits and vegetables, sun and moon, swimming things and flying things, big burly beasts and little creepy crawlies. In the span of six days, God created our amazing universe. The power and beauty and goodness of our invisible God would now be visible. Of all the special things God made, the most important thing was not a thing at all. It was a person. God may have been fond of fish, and he probably liked camels and kangaroos too, maybe even spiders. But he created man in his own image. That's us. We were made to be pictures of God's glory, living, breathing statues whose work in the world is to show that this place belongs to God and to tell everyone what he is like. The first person God made was Adam. He came from the dust of the ground. The second person God made was Eve. She came from Adam's side. They were both made in God's image, and they were made for each other. A perfect fit, just like God had planned, so that husband and wife can be together and make lots of itty-bitty baby image bearers to fill the earth. Things were off to a good start. God was pleased with his creation. He looked around, saw that everything was tremendously terrific, and rested on the seventh day, a perfect beginning to the beginning.